and you're watching Stephen Love Sign. And we're here. Hello everyone, I'm Steven and you're watching Steven Loves Science. And the other day I read a research article that said that scientists in South Korea have figured out a way to kill cancer cells using magnets. So how do you kill a cell? Well in this case it's as easy as flipping a switch. So if we look at this diagram of cell death here, or apoptosis, we can see at the top is a three-pronged looking thing. And this is aptly named death receptor, or in this case, death receptor 4. So death receptor 4 here acts as a switch. And when you turn it on, it'll send out a signaling pathway that will eventually lead to the cell's own demise. So we can kind of think of death receptor 4 as a molecular doomsday switch. So what the scientists were able to do is they were able to attach magnetic nanoparticles to the death receptor and when they applied a magnetic field they were able to turn on the death receptor and begin the signaling that would eventually kill the cell. So how does that work? Well when you turn on death receptor 4 you send a signal to the mitochondria of the cell and the mitochondria then releases a chemical called cytochrome C. Now cytochrome C then bonds to this little weird looking thing here, this pinwheel looking thing called an apoptosome. And specifically, it bonds to these little prongs here called APAF1, APAF1 prongs. And these, once you bond the cytochrome C to it, it will change conformation to release this little green, these little green chemicals here. And this, once it's released, these green chemicals open up nice and long and, and change conformation to a chemical called active capsase 3. Now, active capsase 3 is a protease enzyme. And as you may know, protease enzymes tear apart proteins. And a lot of your cell is made of protein. So cell death begins when this active capsase 3 starts tearing apart your nucleus and fragments everything. And your cell can no longer be a cell. And it just is a bunch of torn apart fragments. And those fragments are eventually, in multicellular organisms, consumed by macrophages, which then recycle them to make nice, shiny new cells. So as you can see, once you release the active capsase 3, it's pretty much over for your cells here with a nice skull and crossbones. So some of you may be thinking right now, oh, wow, that's fantastic. We can kill cancer cells just by turning on their switch, and then they'll just kill themselves for us. But the problem with this method is that all cells have death receptors on them. So the process has to become specific enough that you're not only killing, that you're not killing both cancer cells and healthy cells, but only cancer cells. And we encounter a similar problem when you use things like radiation therapy to kill cancer cells, because you're not only killing cancer cells, but you're killing can healthy cells as well. So Hopefully, in time, this process may become specific enough to target only cancer cells, so we have only cancer cells going, um, apopto undergoing apoptosis. So, thanks for watching this episode of Stephen Love Science, and as always, please subscribe, rate, and comment.